Old Donkey Kong Jr. cereal is part of this complete breakfast. It tastes like fruit and it's lots of fun. It's wild with fruit flavor. Donkey Kong Jr. So we have these three boxes here. Donkey Kong Jr. has already been pulled apart. Zack's son is lots of crumpling and tabs are falling off. And Donkey Kong is probably the best of all of them, but it's still a lot of crumpling. So what we're going to do is, I'll start with Zack's son. I'm going to take my straight edge right here. And I'm going to separate these, flatten them out. So first off, let's see how we're holding it together. We got glue on the top tab here. And we gently go in here between the top, between the tab and the top piece, and slowly separate them out. Take the glasses off so I can see closer. What I'm doing, as you can see, is I'm separating the paper. The, the, the glue that holds these papers together is basically non-existent at this point. See? So what I'm doing is I'm not cutting as much as I am just pulling. Sometimes I have to wedge in to loosen it up. But mostly it's just pulling the paper apart. glue back here. Blade's a little dull. Let us get a sharpened blade here. I always hate changing these blades. I'm always worried I'm going to hurt myself with them. Let's see what we can do here. Supposedly, just stick them in here. Like so snap it and hope that you don't kill yourself. Supposedly. I am so paranoid of it. Come on. I know there's somebody out there who just like snap done. But I'm afraid of it. I'll use the pliers, maybe that's a little better. Like that, that's better. I'm gonna take this. Now what you wanna do is you wanna just, when you snap a blade off and you don't just throw it in the trash. You never know. Take a piece of tape, put some tape around it. At least so it's not a sharp blade just sticking up for anybody to slice their fingers over it. Then throw it in the trash. But now I got a sharp blade to work with. So let's go back in and do that again. And I said what I'm doing is I am separating the glue. Yeah, that's much better. I don't want to cut as much as I'm just scraping the glue apart. Don't get too aggressive. Keep stopping and looking at what you're doing. You don't want to be going crazy with it and realize you just sliced the tab off. There. Yeah. See, just the glue right there. And I've got a little, a little glue right here. That might wrap. Sorry for a little jump cut there. I had to change the battery, and I think I went off camera slightly with that. So what we're doing now is we're going to get this inside tab off. Same way again. 
try to separate as much as you can with your hand, but if you have to, go in here and just gently use the blade to just encourage it to open up. All right, so that's done. Now we're going to remove these tabs out of here. That one out. See, we have to. This is held together with tape, so we're going to be fixing that. This one out there. Down here. Now I have the next tab. Is where this side right here. Right here, glued on the back. See, I got to separate that down the side now. the fun part of just, you don't want to damage anything so you get a little paranoid, but just you go slow and take your time, you'll be okay. What I'm doing is I'm just working my way down to the glue, pulling the outside piece away from it, and making sure I'm not cutting towards the outside. Now there are things that you could use to try to loosen the glue up, but I would worry that it might damage the printing, so I'm just going to go through the manual way and just do this. See, I'm slowly separating it. I'm not damaging the box as much as I'm just scraping where the glue is. So yes, a little bit of paper will come up occasionally, but the box itself is not getting damaged. You'll see what I'm going to do with the box when I get done. Now down here, I seem to have more glue in one spot. We got a little bit of the gluey paper right here. Turn that out of the way. So now we got the front cover off. And again, this is in pretty bad shape, but we're gonna we're gonna salvage it. Now inside, these I can take more of a risk of just pulling it up without using the razor if it's loose because there's no printing to worry about. But that doesn't mean you can just rip it apart. You gotta be careful. Now, I don't know if you can hear it, but somebody's lawnmower is droning away outside. And what I'm doing, see how I got my finger in here? I'm keeping it separated out. 
that protects the printed side from the razor meat making a mistake going through. Now these little shreds, I'm not too concerned about that. That's just the paper. Same right there. So we got that there. We have the Zaxxon box now, and this piece up here has got to be reattached. What I need to do now to it, before I can do anything else, is remove any glue that may be on here, any glue residue, and this stuff is pretty, pretty weak. So I can just yank that off. If I had to, I probably could use um, lighter fluid. I think it's naphtha, what they call it in other places. But this stuff is pretty weak, and it's coming apart pretty easy. So there we go, and a little bit more glue on here. More glue right down here. And somebody tried to keep it together with glue, which is a good idea in that the, we still have all the parts for the box. But in the long run, it really doesn't help fix it. What we're going to do is fix it. Now what we're going to what we're doing is we're not going to restore the printing. I'm not restoring that at all. It's going to still look old and used. I'm restoring the actual box, okay, the paper portion of it. So we have that one. We have the Donkey Kong Jr. here, which has already been pulled apart, and I have one more to pull apart, and that's the Donkey Kong. And this one's in much better shape, as you can see, but still. It can use some restoring. So what we're going to do first is, just like before, I'm going to gently cut through the 40-year-old glue and put it together. That one, if you notice, the cardboard actually separated out and left the glue behind there. So, but we're going to be, again, we're going to be taking care of all that. All that's going to fix, so we're not too concerned about that. Try to separate this tab from that piece of paper on the front. Hey, it's uncutting grass. Already run out of gas. Same thing I did with that one. Separate it out a little bit. Run this through. And as you can see, it's coming apart basically by my finger. But now and then it hangs up on a place where there might be some glue residue. That's why I have to use the knife. And if we went off camera there, I do apologize. I'm still getting used to this new bench I got set up. Which I'm actually going to have to be changing now because I'm going to move my bench to another section of the gallery. Because I do believe this room that I'm using right now, I'm going to end up using for retail space. I'll say. So there we go. I got that out. All right. Now these tabs come out of here. It's a pretty ingenious little design they got here. We come in here. That's glued in. You gotta get that out.
feel like someone came in with some glue later on and re-glued some of this. I don't know if you, well, you, got, I don't know if you can tell or not, but you see uh, there's little stiff little spots it's on the inside. And the other boxes were. Now this one's in relatively good shape, other than the fact that it's got a lot of crinkles and creases and stuff like that. So we're going to restore that one, we're going to restore that one, and this axon.